Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you do not know who we are or what we do, my name is Rachel and I help run a digital die cutting community called Makers Gonna Learn. We run um, this community with almost 6,000 members. Thank you all for everything that you all do for us. We have over 4,000 digital cut files, 400 fonts, a free commercial license, free e-courses, access to a members only Facebook group, did I already say printable guides? Because those are pretty great. And click the link down below if you want to learn all about Makers Gonna Learn. Today we're gonna be talking all about why we here at Makers Gonna Learn love to use iron on wood more than adhesive vinyl on wood. Uh, we have several reasons for this and we do want to talk you through them. This is not gonna be a super opinionated video because let me just tell you, both of these will work. If you want to use vinyl on wood, it will work. If you want to use HDV on wood, it will work. Both of them have their downsides. Both of them, you have to have basically the same type of wood because you cannot use really, really weird, jagged, bowed, unfinished, textured wood for either of these. For vinyl, you need a super smooth, flat surface that's pretty uh, slick. The slicker, the better. Wood is not very slick, so it might have a bit of problems um, adhering to this, although we did do some extra sanding on the one with our vinyl. Keep in mind, that's another extra step with the vinyl project. Um, and then over here for HTV, as long as the wood is not kind of really, really out there and um, not smooth and really rough, then you'll be able to iron on it fine. So we just have these super thin wood sheets that we stained and they're relatively flat and this is gonna be perfect for iron on. I cannot wait to see how easy it is. So um, again, the pros and cons are that um, this one it takes longer to do, but this one takes more time to apply. You have to apply it with your easy press and everything. Also, uh, HTV is more expensive than regular vinyl, although once you add up the cost of the vinyl you use plus the transfer type you use, the cost is kind of the same. And honestly, if we're weighing you know, time, this one still does take longer because you have to do more maintenance before and after you apply your vinyl. You can't just kind of apply it and then leave it there. You have to seal it with something because that adhesive will come up um, if you do not do so. But this one has a much better adhesive for wood. This stuff is meant to be on fabric and go through the washer and dryer. This stuff is made to last and stay. So uh, heat transfer vinyl on wood does amazing. You don't have to seal it or anything. And then this one we had to sand before we even stained it. So that's another step that we had to add for that one as well. But without further ado, we're gonna continue to talk about these as we go through them. I'm gonna be able to apply these for us and show you exactly how. We're gonna be doing our iron on wood first and we have our baby easy press. This is little jelly bean here, he's with us. And we're gonna preheat him to the first heat setting. That is 300 degrees. We also have our easy press mat, our wood that has been stained and it has been stained that was yesterday we stained it so it's had plenty of time to dry and then we just have this super cute cut file here that says crafting in progress this is one of almost well no it's over we have one of over 4,000 digital cut files for you guys today again if you're not a member you're missing out so we're gonna be making little craft room signs that are pretty darn sophisticated and cute because we're using some stained wood and a neutral color here that's why it's gonna be super cute so while he's heating up, we're going to go ahead and jump into these supplies that I'm going to show you so that once we get to crafting, we don't have to like stop and then talk about all this anymore. So we're using a few extra and different supplies than this guy. We have our wood that has been stained and sanded before it was stained and all that good stuff. We have our vinyl that we've cut out. We have a uh, Cricut transfer tape. We have um, Minwax polycrylic. This is a satin finish. You'll also need a paintbrush for this because you will have to seal this sign after you create it because it, the vinyl is not going to stay there. It's just not going to. Um, and then we also have some scissors to cut off our transfer tape and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump into this iron on one here. Our little easy press just preheated for us so we're good to go. Okay so I'm just going to lay our wood here on our easy press mat and then lay our design down. This is the cutest little design. I absolutely love the way that it looks. It's gonna look so cute for your craft room or wherever you want to place it. 
And once you have it where you lock it, you can go ahead and just start heating with your easy press. Now, this transfer sheet is pretty large. You can see it kind of covers all of the design. If yours doesn't, you can grab a Teflon sheet and use a Teflon sheet if you want to. You do not have to. And then we're just going to go in here with our easy press and be very gentle with our heat here. We're going to move it around super gently. It's sticking super well already. And guys, this is just so easy. You just can't beat ironing on wood. We absolutely love to iron on wood here at Makers Gonna Learn. It's satisfying, it's easy to do. You don't have to worry about it uh, peeling up on you. You don't have to seal it or anything like that. It just, it's pretty flawless. So we absolutely love to iron on wood. And we're just gonna keep working in our little area here, moving around. You don't have to worry about you know your vinyl not sticking properly or anything like that if it doesn't stick properly all you have to do is add some more heat or maybe some more concentrated heat you have to maybe get in a specific area there and then you always know you're doing your job correctly because you should see bubbles in the vinyl which is so handy to have when you're trying to make sure that you're doing it properly you want to see those bubbles and i do see some bubbles which is a very good sign i'm just going to get in here on some little pieces and then we'll be able to peel this up. Now, another great thing about iron on wood here is that it's so hard to burn iron on. A lot of people get super scared that they can burn their iron on easily, but you really can't burn your iron on that easily. It takes a village to burn your iron on, so you don't really have to worry much with that. Now, I think we got that pretty darn good. I'm gonna set our easy press back on the cradle. And one thing about wood is that you do want it to cool down quite a bit because uh, HTV is not technically meant to go on wood. It is technically meant to go on t-shirts and fabrics and cottons and things like that. Um, and what you do is when you heat that up, that adhesive will move away from your vinyl and bond to that fabric. Um, and then that's what creates that adhesion there. That's what creates it uh, such a good bond. But with wood, it really doesn't have any fabric to bond to. It's just kind of wood and then adhesive. So when that wood meets that adhesive, it needs time to cool there and that's what bonds it. Uh, so that's what we're doing now is just allowing it to cool a little bit. And we're just gonna peel this up and peel this up slowly and then you'll be able to see some little things that you might have missed there. And then like right there, I need to heat that a little longer you see something peeling up on you it's so easy to see that you just give it a little more concentrated heat and then sometimes I just like to go back through here and heat up some parts I might have missed because with this little guy sometimes it is a little bit hard to see to know which parts you've hit which parts you have not hit so and you also guys you can't beat how thin HTV is it's just like one with the wood you know it really looks really really good you don't need it's not bulky not saying that you know regular vinyl is super bulky or anything it's not but it's just thicker you know and it makes more of an impression and i don't know i it's not that i have anything against using vinyl on wood we use vinyl on wood um and of course it works it works fine it works well uh we just prefer htv it, it's easier in my opinion than vinyl there's less that can go wrong with it and I would just, we, we prefer it. But again, it's all personal preferences, whatever you guys enjoy more. So look how great that looks, guys. So stinking cute. This is a cute little super simple sign for your craft room that you can put on there and, you know, tell people crafting's in progress in here. I'm creating something awesome. So I just love how flat it is. I mean, look look you just can't even see it there's just nothing there it's one with the wood it looks great you don't have to seal it or anything this is going to last a long long time it looks awesome now uh, we did talk a little bit about the pros and cons there um, so we'll go ahead and switch over to the regular vinyl sign where we're going to start uh, placing our transfer tape down okay so i'm just going to cut us a piece of transfer tape here just enough to cover it ran in so you guys can see it that'd be nice wouldn't it I do like that this has grids on it. It helps me at least try and cut in a straight line. <laughs> and now I'm gonna remove this. This is sometimes the hardest part of the whole thing. Remove that. Bring this in like that. We're gonna use our taco method. 
start in the center, move it on out. Perfect. <clears throat> Take our burnishing tool here, our little scraper tool. We're gonna burnish. Now, I'm gonna trim it up. I've been liking trimming it before hand because it trims up that transfer tape and it's not so sticky, so I'm not like, fighting the stick or anything. And it just works out really well. So I'm just gonna be trimming this up. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're placing something like this. Awesome, so I'm gonna throw these away and bring in our sign here. So again, this is the same exact sign, same dimensions, same everything. It's super smooth, it's super clean. It was uh, stained yesterday and we're gonna apply this down here. So we're gonna scoot that up, flip this over. Burnish from the back. We love Orcal 651. It's great. Whoop, got away from me. So now we're gonna flip it up here and go with gravity. Whoop, got letters coming up on us. Come on now, stick down. Got some letters coming up. And if you see this little part on that T, that's totally fine. You can see it came up right here. That's because our blade is so fresh on our machine um, that it just kind of took a little bit of the backing with it when I peeled it off. And that's okay. We can get that off with a, uh, with a little tool. So we did that a couple times there. So let me, I'm going to bring the camera in so you guys can see it really well. And I'm going to show you what we do for that. So right here is the big one. And I'm just gonna get a pin pin tool. And this is an amazing tool. This is from 651 Vinyl as well. It is like a weeding tool on steroids. It's got a very sharp little, um, basically a needle on the end of it. And it's just so good for things like this, for little, little bits of stuff. So we're gonna go in here and pick all this up. Look how easy, so easy. And that's really all that happens is that the blade is just pretty fresh and it just does that. So there's nothing bad or anything. You might want to use less pressure if you have a large project that you don't want to, you know, have to do that too much on or something. But other than that, it's not a problem. It's just a little bit like that. So now we're going to come back out and show you guys the sign here. Here's the sign. And now we're going to place it. So this is a bit more stressful than placing the iron on because you have a lot of chances. You can lay it down, pick it up, and then see how you like it. This one, you've kind of got one chance here. You want to lay it down as quick as you can, and you want to place it pretty wisely first off. So you got to kind of lay it down and then be sure about it because you can't really move it around after it's already been stuck. So now we're going to start from the middle and we're going to burnish out. And now we're going to peel up. So we're going to start from a corner here. And it's not wanting to stick very well right off the bat here. We're going to get it back in here and burnish a little bit better. I'm going to get closer in for you guys. There we go. Great. Okay, awesome. Now that we have that down, I usually go back in and honestly burnish it a little bit more because sometimes just peeling up that transfer paper can make it come off a bit. Great. Now, this is pretty thick. It's thick stuff. You can see it definitely a lot more than you can see the iron on there. And we're gonna seal it because of that because it's probably gonna come off later and we don't want it to come off. So um, I'm gonna go grab a paintbrush and then we're gonna go ahead and seal this with some polyacrylic. Again, you do not have to seal the one with heat transfer vinyl because it is stuck on there. It's pretty darn permanent there. So we're gonna be sealing this guy because I could just take my finger here and peel him up just like I did there and we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna have to seal this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna slide a piece of paper underneath him so that we can um, you know, not get such a mess on our craft table here. And then I'm gonna open this guy up with, there goes my scissors. <laughs> I'm gonna open this guy up with the back end of our reverse uh, tweezers here, just like that. 
And here's a clean, dry, um, soft bristle brush. This is what we're gonna be using today. Um, we're just gonna do a couple of light coats here. Now we're gonna eventually do three. Three is the magic number here with the coats. You wanna do three light coats. So I'm gonna take it and dip it in there and just start in the corner and seal it. You're gonna start on one end and go to the other end. Now since this is wood, it, it really wants to soak in this sealer. So this first coat, you can be a little bit thick with, a little bit sloppy with, if I should say that, because it's kind of just like your base coat. Like when you're painting, you know, you're really just trying to get a, get a coat on the wall there just so it's not so bad. And it does a good job at kind of laying the foundation for the other coats to be more precise and a bit more meticulous. So you guys can uh, pack it on pretty, pretty uh, thick this first coat. Wait about half an hour for it to dry. And then you guys will add another coat and then wait 30 more minutes and then add another coat. So it's really a simple process. It's not super hard to do. It just takes time and you have to let it dry. So you're looking at like an hour and a half of dry time between all these coats and then you have to let it dry, you know, finish drying completely, which I would say about overnight. And, uh, and then you're, you're able to use this. Now, it, it's not, again, there are pros and cons to both. We just wanted to lay all this stuff out for you guys and tell you why we feel like HTV is better. You don't have to sand it first. You don't have to seal it. You don't have to worry with um, getting the transfer tape. If you're doing a larger sign that's harder to um, place harder to see if it's in the middle using HTV is incredible because you can lay it down and peel it up as many times as you want it's like you get redos so you can lay it down and then measure say oh well that's not in the middle pick it up lay it down oh that's not in the middle before you actually adhere it but with this once you lay it down you're kind of stuck you know you don't really want to start peeling it up that wouldn't be very good so you're just kind of stuck and you don't really know what to do and you know, it's sad we don't want you guys to have craft fails because you think that you can only use, um, you know, regular vinyl on wood. We want to give you guys options like HTV and there are definite pro, uh, pros to using it uh, where there are cons to this and pros to this. So as the title may be a bit deceiving, we do uh, want to tell you why we love using HTV better. But if you guys want to use vinyl, you love using vinyl, you've never had problems, you're, you're, you know, you're in love with it, fine. We're so happy. We don't want the comment section filled with, you know, a bunch of mean comments like, well, what about me? I love using vinyl. We're glad. No, we're so glad you love using vinyl. Continue to use what you love. But we just wanted to give you guys the option, especially maybe some newbies that aren't familiar, you know, with the Cricut world and how you can use these products in different ways because you totally can use uh, HTV on wood and it looks incredible and the seal is awesome and it'll last forever and it's one with the wood. You don't even know that it's like, you just can't even feel it. It's amazing. It's so thin. Uh, whereas this is just a bit thicker. So after this coat guys, set a timer, set your Apple watch, set your phone for 30 minutes and then come back and add another thin coat. 30 more minutes, another thin coat. Uh, once you have three coats, or you might need to do more, you know, it just depends. If you run your hand over it, it should be dry between each coat, of course. Um, and you're like, ah, it doesn't seem very sealed. Add more coats, it's not gonna hurt it or anything. It's just really gonna take up some time. And then um, after that, just let it cure. Um, I would do overnight before you hang it up anywhere. Um, and then you're good to go after that. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this controversial video. It was really fun to make and I hope that you all uh, had fun watching this. Um, we here at Makers to Learn, we make jokes honestly because we love iron on wood that much. Uh, really the title is just kind of telling you guys how we feel. Uh, we feel like iron on wood is the best way to go. If not for anything else, for being able to line it up as many times as you want. When you're doing any project that's you know maybe a little bit bigger than this one, uh, um, you start to have anxiety about if it's in the center and this and that and vinyl there's a lot of anxiety that comes with vinyl because you can't really place it twice you have to kind of hover it over and then see and then you're too close to really see if it's even it's so frustrating and it can be really um, it can be a downer you know you can feel like you've ruined a project because of it and we do love that point to it but 
Also, it takes a bit less prep work. You don't have to sand it unless the wood is like pretty darn rough, you know, and these were really smooth pieces of wood. Um, and this will last forever. You don't have to seal it. Although you can, if you want to, that is an option. If you want to seal this, feel free to, um, but the other sign you'll need to seal with several coats and then be able to use it, um, later on. Um, or for that vinyl sign, if you want to not seal it, you could just leave it. And then later on, if you wanted to use that piece of wood for something else, you could peel that vinyl off. I mean, see, this is not just kind of like, um, beating down on vinyl on wood because it's an amazing product we love using vinyl uh for a ton of different things we'll use it on wood if we have to but we would much prefer htv but both are good if you love one or the other that's fine we just really want to give you all all the information so you guys can make the best choice to the best of your abilities i hope that you all um learned something today and guys be sure to check out the link below if you do not know about makers gonna learn we love makers gonna learn if you are a die cutting beginner or you have had a die cutting machine for years and years we are the one-stop shop to inspire you to educate you to get those creative wheels turning again we have so much to offer and we just hope that you guys will become a part of that community in the first link below check it out so guys leave us a comment down below let us know if you have any questions or concerns give us a like if you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later bye guys